All right now, we are continuing to learn more and more about the so-called stimulus package that passed Congress last night, because as the president explained, it appears to have everything in it except real direct aid for struggling American families. The 5,500-page, $2.3 trillion omnibus package includes things like establishing two new branches of the Smithsonian Museum, creating national standards for the horse racing industry, and making illegal streaming a felony. And there's more, like $10 million for, quote, gender programs in Pakistan, hundreds of millions in other foreign aid, and even a statement of policy regarding the succession of the reincarnation of the Dalai Lama. But for Americans suffering, the current package includes a mere one-time $600 direct payment. And even worse is that lawmakers passed one of the most expensive and egregious pieces of legislation ever without actually reading it. It's degrading, it's disgusting and demeaning, but unfortunately, not at all surprising, of course, and exactly what we've come to expect from the entrenched political swamp. Just listen to Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard and Senator Rand Paul explaining their opposition. Take a look. Hey, everybody. I just got back from having voted on the House floor on this massive spending bill. I voted against it, and I wanted to tell you why. First of all, this bill was over 5,500 pages long. We received the text of this bill at approximately 2.30 this afternoon, and we're told we'd have to go and vote on it just a few hours later. I've been here long enough to see how provisions are snuck into these bills in the, literally in the dark of night without any announcement, without telling anyone what is in it, and then rushed through in the manner that we have just seen tonight. The monster spending bill presented today is not just a deficits don't matter disaster, it is everything Republicans say they don't believe in. To so-called conservatives who are quick to identify the socialism of Democrats, if you vote for this spending monstrosity, you are no better. Now, Congressman Andy Biggs echoed those remarks, tweeting, quote, after days of backroom negotiations and only a handful of hours to read the 6,000-page legislation, the House passed the omnibus and COVID-19 spending bill tonight. Congress continues to fail the American people and bankrupt our grandchildren's future. Now, the bill is so bad that it's bringing together Senator Ted Cruz and Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez in opposition to the bill. And get this, the backlash is so severe that it's causing Democrats to lose faith in their own leadership, maybe it's about time, as a new poll released this morning finds that just a slim majority of Democrats want Pelosi to stay on as speaker. So let me be clear here. After months of crippling lockdowns, months of conflicting public health guidance, and months of stonewalling from Nancy Pelosi, we're left with what is just another massive government handout to special interests, foreign governments, and in the words of Speaker Pelosi, crumbs for those who need it more than ever, the American people. It's reckless, it's reprehensible, but right in line with what has become all too common on Capitol Hill.